While most people are still in their beds, the swimmers at Plymouth College in England are already up and being put through their paces. A big season looms large. For three of the group, their first major event is the inaugural European Games in Baku. And Olympic gold medal winning coach John Rudd has high hopes. They aren't going there just to be passengers. They're, they're serious athletes and serious contenders at that meet. But to get to this level, enormous dedication is required. I'll be at the pool by quarter past five for two hours. Get out, go to school, do my work all day. Then get back to the pool at uh, half three. Do, do some stretching, get in the pool and then go home and rest. Plymouth College dates back to 1877, but its reputation for producing top-level athletes only began in 2000 with the establishment of an elite swimming program. Its greatest success came at the London 2012 Olympics. The college's swimmers represented four different nations at the Games, and one of them, Lithuania's Ruta Melotite, claimed two goals at just 15 years of age. The competition in Baku this summer will feature junior swimmers, and Melotite explained the excitement that the young athletes will be feeling ahead of the Games. I was nervous, and those big competitions used to freak me out, and you're overwhelmed by some of the facilities and how many people there are, so, but it's great. The school also runs academies in modern pentathlon and fencing, and excels in other areas too. Notable alumni include Olympic diving bronze medalist Tom Daly, and Henry Slade, who's just been selected for England's Rugby Union World Cup squad. The key for success for these athletes is finding the right balance between sporting excellence and academic achievement. Every single athlete has a bespoke, personalised programme. Everything from our extreme, so Ruta is probably our most extreme athlete. She really only has time to do one A-level because she's away so often on training camps and, and competitions on top of which we try and make their strength and conditioning happen during their school hours, during free periods and things, so they, they do have some downtime in the evenings. But with the effort comes the reward, and the European Games offers these youngsters a unique opportunity, which they're eager to grasp. It's the multi-sport event that's the greatest experience for them. It's not often they get the chance to do that, so it's one of those few events where it's a true international climate, great standard of, uh, of competitiveness across all of the sports, and that experience of village life. I, I've never really been abroad for competitions, let alone multi-sport competitions like that. It's such a big event. I think it's just going to be amazing. Be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Laura Stevens has already tasted success in a multi-sport environment, winning gold in 2013's European Youth Olympics. Now at the same age as when Melotite stunned the sporting world in 2012, she's hoping to use Baku as a springboard to make a similar impact. She's inspirational to every swimming athlete, I think, and she shows that, you know, age is it's just the number you need. You can doesn't matter how young you are, you can still achieve like amazing things. The Baku 2015 swimming events will take place at the Baku Aquatic Centre and get underway on June 23rd.